Hello, this is my new overlay mosaic chart creator template update version 2.0 that now has the written row instructions. Let's check it out. So here we have a design that we've been creating. I will just finish it up. You just hit each little individual cell to add the color. When you're ready, you can add your X's. Yay! Or you can remove them to keep going. Let's say we want to fill this in in the middle. And let's make a mistake. Anybody see the mistake here that I'm making? So now we'll hit add X's again. And we get this little pop-up that tells us we have a mistake. So we want to look for the question mark in our chart. We see it right here. And so either this is supposed to be blue or we need to uncover this one so that this white stitch would have a front loop to stitch into. In this case, we're coloring these in. So I'm just going to color these in. I'm going to hit add X's again and it's good. So now normally we could create a chart PDF like we've done in the previous version. That creates a PDF of just the chart and it will be named by what the name of the chart is, mosaic chart small square, which is that, with the date and the time. This will do this every single time because if you were to create 10 different versions of this, you don't want to overwrite your old ones. So it's going to keep naming it with the current time so that you always have a fresh save of what you just did without writing over the old one. And you can always delete these or rename them once you save them. And this is also where you'd want to print from. You'd open up the PDF and print from here because I've taken away the print button. You can't read this because it's too small. Let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. I zoomed in a little. So this is the new updated function that I've added to this template. Create row instructions. So what this is going to do is going to create a text file with all of your instructions in there. And then what you can do with that is you could copy them, paste them into a Word document. You could edit them. Um, so yeah, it gives you that capability and all you gotta do is push the button once and it's that's it. You might've seen a little background coding going on. So where you're going to find these row instructions is the same exact folder on your hard drive where you're gonna find this which is the same exact folder where you're going to find your template. So wherever you have your template on your hard drive is where you're going to find both the charts that you create and the row instructions that you create. So I'm going to go ahead and find my row instructions I just created and I'll show you what those look like. So here you can see what it looks like. It's just a simple text document. It's wrapping the text around when it's too long for the one line. But as you modify the text document, you can see how it moves around. Really doesn't matter here because if you copy this whole thing and paste it into Word, it's going to put like a space in between each of these rows. So it'll look much prettier in Word, but yeah, check it out. And you can see that it shows all the rows, all the stitches, and then yeah, you could just cut and paste into your Word document and has the name of the chart, the date, and the time. And just simple as hitting the button kind of fun. <laughs> I've used this type of code for my own pattern writing for probably the last couple years, but I was trying to get it in an easy format so that all you had to do was push a button and it would create it for you as simple as that, as simple as pushing one button. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoy that. It's my improved version of my mosaic chart creator template. Thanks a bunch.